Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss the easy trick to guess the product in electrocyclic reactions. Electrocyclic reactions are the one type of pericyclic reactions which are observed at the conjugated double bonds. And suppose here we have taken the 2,4 hexadiene which is having the two double bonds and when we supply the energy in the form of either photo or thermal energy, this compound can undergo the electrocyclic reaction. So here this pi bond is going to be converted into a sigma bond and this pi bond is going to be delocalized such that it is going to give a cyclic product and this cyclic product may be like this or it may be like this. Here you can see that both structures are having the similar connectivity but the methyl groups are arranged in different way. The first one the methyl groups are on the same side so this is the cis isomer and in the second one the methyl groups are on the opposite side so it is a trans isomer. So how can we know whether this reaction produces cis isomer or trans isomer as the product? The configuration of the product depends on the configuration of the reactant as well as which type of source we are going to use whether the thermal source or photo source. Based on that we can fix the configuration of the product. And today in this video we will see one of a easy trick in order to assess what is the configuration of the product based on the configuration of the reactant and the type of source we are going to use. We can have an easy trick in order to guess the configuration of the product. Here we have to simply remember ETC. What about the E and T indicates? E indicates even and T indicates the thermal. So even number of pi bonds are there in the reactant and we are going to use the source as a thermal energy. Then the product will have the configuration which is indicated by letter C. So C indicates it is the cis isomer. So here we can remember even and thermal combination has negative value and when this is negative it gives the cis isomer and any of this condition is going to be changed it gives the opposite isomer that is a trans isomer. For example in place of even number of pi bonds if the reactant is having the odd number of pi bonds otherwise instead of the thermal energy we are going to use the photo energy then it gives the opposite isomer that means the trans isomer. So any of this condition is going to be changed the configuration will be reversed and here if two conditions are going to be changed, again it gives the same isomer. In this way, we can use this easy trick. But in order to understand this easy trick, first of all let us see the different types of configuration that can be observed with the electrocyclic reactions and then we will apply this trick to guess the right configuration of the product. Now already we have seen the 2,4 hexadiene, so this is the second carbon and this is the fourth carbon. And here the first double bond is attached with one methyl group. Similarly, second double bond is attached with the another methyl group. Based on the orientation of this methyl group, now this 2,4 hexadiene can exist as different types of isomers. For example, this is one of the isomer and here you can see here the methyl group is opposite side to the double bond. That means it is having the opposite configuration which we can indicate by the letter E. Similarly, if you see the methyl group here, it is on the same side of the double bond which we can indicate by the letter Z. So according to the E and Z nomenclature, now this molecule can be represented with a configuration 2E4Z at the second position E configuration at the fourth position Z configuration. Similarly we can write the another configuration where the both of these methyl groups are opposite to the double bond so this is the 2E4E configuration. In this way we can write the different types of configurations so here we have represented the two configurations. Now let us take the 2E4Z configuration and let us see what happens to this electrocyclic reaction. Now this is the 2E4Z configuration or 2E4Z hexadiene. So you can see the one of the methyl group is opposite and another methyl group is on the same side of the double bonds. Now this compound can undergo the electrocyclic reaction either by thermal source or the photo source. But let us see first of all what happens when we use the thermal source. So in presence of the thermal source this compound can be converted such that it is going to give a product like this. Now here this methyl group and another methyl group on the similar side. So this is nothing but the cis isomer of the 3,4 dimethyl cyclobutene. Now let us take the same compound 2E4Z hexadiene but now we are going to use the photo energy. Then what happens? The reactant will give one product. So here one methyl group on one side and another methyl group on the other side. So this is the trans isomer. You can see here the same reactant when we use the thermal energy it gives the cis isomer when we use the photo energy it gives the trans isomer. Now let us take the another configuration this is the 2E4E hexadiene and when we supply the thermal energy it is going to give a product like this here the methyl group on one side and another methyl group on the other side so again it is giving the trans isomer and to the same reactant if we are going to supply the photo energy then it is going to give a product with the 
sys configuration the nature of the product depends on the source of energy we are going to supply as well as the configuration of the reactant here we can summarize that the 2e4z hexadiene on supply of thermal energy it is going to give the cis isomer on the other hand 2e4e hexadiene that is a another isomer having a different configuration where at the fourth position it is having the e configuration and then when it is supplied with the photo energy again the source of energy is quite opposite it is not the thermal energy it is the photo energy then it gives the cis isomer similarly the 2e4z hexadiene when it is supplied with the photo energy it gives the trans isomer at the same time the 2e4e hexadiene when we supply with the thermal energy it gives the trans isomer that means the 2e4z and 2e4e are going to produce the same isomer when they are supplied with a different source of energy one is thermal and another one is a photo energy right now it is somewhat confusing to remember but we will see one of the trick by which we can easily remember the configuration of the product now let us take another example so this is the reactant this is the second carbon and this is the sixth carbon and again if we focus the methyl groups at the first double bond and the last double bond they can exist as the different configuration so this is one of the configuration which is nothing but that 2e and 6z at the second position opposite configuration but at the sixth position same configuration similarly another one is the 2e 6e both at the second position as well as the sixth position methyl groups are oriented opposite to the double bond now with these two configurations let us see what happens to the configuration of the product first of all let us take the 2e 6z isomer so this is a 2e 6z isomer here we have not indicated the configuration of the double bond at the fourth position for easy discussion now when we are going to supply the thermal energy it will undergo the reaction says that it is going to give a product like this and here the methyl groups are in the opposite configuration so this is a trans isomer so 2e 6z on thermal source gives the trans isomer this is quite opposite with the previous example which is having the two double bonds only so when it is having the two double bonds with 2e and 4z configuration it gives a cis isomer but here it is going to give the trans isomer similarly when it is going to react with the photo energy it gives one of the isomer here the methyl groups on the same side so, the, so this is the cis isomer similarly let us take the 2e 6e now when it is reacting with the thermal source it is going to give the one of the product with methyl groups on the same side this is the cis isomer and the same compound on the photo source it going to give the one of the product with methyl groups on the opposite side so this is a trans isomer in this way the compound with the three pi bonds is going to give the different types of products let us summarize it 2e 6z octatriene on supply of thermal energy it gives that trans isomer similarly the 2e 6e octatriene on photo energy it gives the trans isomer 2e 6z octatriene on photo source it gives a cis isomer and 2e 6e octatriene on thermal energy it gives a cis isomer some logic is there we can easily remember so now let us see the easy trick to remember this configuration so here etc means e indicates even t thermal and c is the cis isomer even thermal cis isomer we can easily remember so suppose here we are going to take the 2e4z so here 2e4z means how many double bonds are there only two double bonds are there that means it's a even so even number of pi bonds are there and what about the configuration of these double bonds within the reactant one is e and second one is z that means within the reactant it is having the opposite configuration then when we supply the thermal energy it will give the product with cis isomer so here we can just remember with the trick etc et even and thermal let us take the this combination as negative and what about the configuration of the reactant is opposite opposite means again negative so negative into negative will give the positive so positive means they are the cis isomer similarly if it is not even if it suppose if it is odd let us take one example 2e 4z 6z now here it is having the three double bonds so it is having the odd number of pi bonds and if we see the configuration at the terminals 2e and 6z they are having the opposite configuration and suppose we are going to use the same sub energy thermal energy then which type of isomer it will give it will give the trans isomer so here one of the condition is going to be changed within this combination even thermal the even is replaced with the odd then the product will have opposite configuration 
so when it is odd it, it will be negative into positive which gives the negative so opposite configuration can be observed in this way if even is replaced with the odd it will give the opposite configuration otherwise if the thermal is replaced by photo it will give the opposite configuration otherwise if the reactant is having similar configuration again it gives the opposite configuration in this way if any of the condition is going to be changed it will give the opposite configuration so that's about the electrocyclic reactions electrocyclic reactions are one type of pericyclic reactions which are the single step reactions with single reagent and here the electrons are going to be delocalized as well as one pi bond is going to be converted to one sigma bond and the configuration of the product depends on the type of energy we are going to supply whether thermal or photo energy as well as the number of pi bonds present in the reactant along with the configuration of the reactant all these factors are going to influence the configuration of the product so that's for today if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video